Hi everyone, this is uh, update number four of the tests on the QEG and I uh, have gotten a good suggestion by a couple of users at the uh, over Unity forum to uh, forget about putting the bulbs on the uh, low voltage coil and uh, put them in series on the high voltage coil which has the capacitance and this capacitance is two 5 microfarad capacitors in series so there's 2.5 microfarads there and then the bulbs, two bulbs uh, in series also. Each bulb is 120 volt, 40 watts and uh, that uh, I can bring it to the resonant point uh, very stable that way and what I, what I did is actually I had my frequency drive controller up to about 65 hertz and uh, connect the circuit, connect the, uh, the high voltage coil and then slowly drop it down and at about 59.2 hertz is where I have a very stable uh, sine wave here it's not fluctuating up and down and uh, I'll give you a shot of the data there and uh, we're about uh, 29 Hertz, uh, 266 volts, and you can see it's very stable. And a uh, total of uh, 740 uh, volts uh, peak to peak. And uh, I have a 100 times uh, probe hooked up to that, X100 probe. And the uh, voltage division is uh, 200 volts there. And uh, there is the uh, time division there. 20 microseconds. So this is a, a good way of uh, keeping it uh, nice and stable. Now I can get it to uh, swing into some peaks as well and uh, what I'll do is I'll also show you the uh, power this is consuming. So right now it's uh, sitting at about very steady at uh, 89 watts. That's what's uh, going to the frequency drive controller. Now this uh, frequency drive controller consumes power because it does get you know a bit warm, so that's not the real power that's going to the motor. So I would assume there might be about nine watts wasted. So we got you know using about 80 watts to turn that motor, and um, our loads, our bulbs are not turning on. But if I put my hand on them, I feel uh, you know a good amount of heat there. Not that I can't hold my hand on it. So I would say, you know, maybe two watts uh, on each bulb here is being dissipated. So about four watts right here. So what I'll do now is I'll give you a, a little bit of a demo here, what happens when I start dropping the frequency and uh, it'll start to swing. Maybe I dropped it too much. So now you're starting to see the uh, sine wave is starting to go uh, up and down. And it's a bit like a uh, swing action. And uh, it'll just keep increasing and increasing. And eventually we'll start, you know, lighting these bulbs as it hits. So now you're starting to hear it and you see these bulbs uh, lighting up now. Okay, but if we look at our uh, power, we do have swings uh, in our wires. So that means it's not necessarily capable of being that fast picking it up, but you see there we now have a 200 watt uh, peak so it is consuming more power uh, when it's doing this uh, swinging action and now I'll bring it to a, a stable point here where it'll stop slowly working down that, that oscillation so now it's starting to stabilize itself and uh, we'll uh, stop doing that. And obviously the bulbs are not lighting when we don't have these, these peaks happening. Uh, and now we're back to looking at our wattage and it's very stable at uh, 89 watts, uh, 88 watts, somewhere around there. And uh, what I'll do right now is just uh, disconnect the uh, circuit. So we're at about 88, 89 watts, 
and now I'm removing it. We are flat line, haven't changed anything, and we are now at uh, about 76, 77 watts. So <clears throat> we were, you know, <clears throat> consuming about uh, 10 watts uh, to do that. So um, don't think there is any uh, free lunch in my setup here, and uh, I'm quite sure I'm probably uh, missing the uh, the whole concept of the QEG. This wasn't really made to be a QEG. It was just to test the uh, effects of uh, varying uh, the inductance on a coil and uh, to see what happens. And uh, well, you know, it's kind of interesting, and I'm learning stuff out of this. But uh, please don't think that uh, this. Uh, is the replication of the QAG and it's far from being that and I don't claim that I've replicated it uh, I'm just studying its effects and uh, reporting uh, it uh, to those who uh, are interested in this so thanks uh, for your uh, interest and uh, that's it for now bye now